it is hard to believe that we're moving towards the end of our season. Our gospel-centered quality this week is identity. And our uh, sports ministry claims to be gospel-centered. That means that everything that we do evolves around the gospel. We try to integrate the uh, gospel into our sports. And our redemptive quality this week is identity. Uh, identity is the fact of being who a person is. And our memory verse is John 1, 12, which says, To all who believe in him and accepted him, he gave the right to be children of God. After a game, I enjoy the uh, questions that are asked to, our, to players. And usually the most uh, frequent questions are two. Number one is, did you win? And how did you do? So it was really being asked of the, of the, the player is, were you successful? Did you succeed at the game? Did you, um, uh, did you do it for, uh, for reason? And better questions might be as, uh, instead of did you win, is, uh, hey, did you practice? Did you put work in before you played the game? Another one is, did you, um, what, was, what was the reason you played so hard today? Was it for God's glory or some other glory? Uh, I remember the uh, movie The Miracle, uh, done about professional hockey, and I can remember the uh, coach Herb Brooks uh, in one session where they, were, they got stale and they weren't playing well, and he had them stay after a game, after a loss, and he had them skate the uh, lines back and forth, and he continued to ask them who they played for. And they kept giving the name of their college, and he did it for a, a long period of time. And finally, one of the guys says, I play for the United States of America. So when we play, who do you think that our kids will play for, and who do you think you, uh, you cheer for as you see your kids play? Well, we know it's for, for God's glory, and we try to teach that and try to integrate that through everything that we do. Uh, in closing, uh, thinking about our identity, uh, in a play in baseball, it's called the suicide squeeze. You have a runner at third base and you have a batter, and the coach gives the signal that the bunner, that the batter must bunt the ball nowhere, no matter where it is pitched in order for him to receive, to get home. So think about that in our spiritual life is that uh, Jesus, no matter where it was, he gave it up. No matter how hard it was, he gave it up for us to get home. Let me pray for us. Lord, we, uh, we love you. Lord, thank you for uh, identifying us as one of yours, that you gave your life so that we could have eternal life. Lord, help us accept it on this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.